Were you the only black person? Yeah, I was the only um, a black female. They'd have Django unchained playing. They would repeat the most, say, racist lines. And then they'd chop up. They spoke outright in the office about um, lynching me. Simply because I'd, I'd put in a complaint. And it was suggested for me to be tar and feathered. Rather than root out the racism, she says the army closed ranks to protect the organisation. When they tried to paint out as if I was a aggressive black woman, that was extremely tough. If it wasn't <laughs> for those individuals, supported me, whether secretly or publicly. <sighs> yeah, I would, have, I would have been broken. Earlier this year, she took her case to an employment tribunal. The army contested it, but as the evidence mounted, it issued an apology. It accepted Mrs Knight had to work in an environment where she experienced racist and sexist harassment. Beneath the polished exterior, of the British Army's uniforms and medals lies a stark reality of systemic racism and sexism. For black individuals and women within its ranks, the promise of equality and fairness has often proven to be a facade, obscuring a history of exclusion, discrimination, and bias. From the onset of the British Army's expansion into the colonies, the institution has grappled with its own contradictions. While it has often championed itself as a meritocratic organization, where every soldier's worth is judged by their abilities, the lived experiences of many Black service members and women reveal a different truth. This discrepancy is not merely a matter of individual prejudice, but reflects deeper, systemic issues entrenched within the institution. Historically, Black soldiers have faced racial prejudice despite their contributions to British military successes. The contributions of black soldiers from Africa, the Caribbean, and other regions have been significant, yet they have frequently been overlooked or undervalued. This pattern of exclusion and marginalization extends beyond recognition. It infiltrates promotion practices, representation in leadership roles, and the overall treatment of black personnel. The systemic racism within the British Army manifests in biased evaluations unequal opportunities for advancement, and a lack of support systems to address grievances related to racial discrimination. Similarly, the experience of women in the British Army has been marred by sexism. Despite strides toward gender equality, women have continued to face barriers that limit their participation and advancement. These barriers are not always visible, but are deeply embedded in institutional practices and cultural attitudes. Women in the British Army often contend with a double standard that scrutinizes their competence and commitment more harshly than their male counterparts. They face challenges such as inadequate support for work-life balance, gender-based harassment, and obstacles to achieving equal representation in senior positions. The intersectionality of race and gender compounds these issues, creating a unique set of challenges for Black women in the British Army. They navigate a terrain that is hostile both due to racial prejudice and gender discrimination, making their experiences particularly fraught. The dual burden of racism and sexism often results in these individuals being marginalized, not only in terms of career progression, but also in terms of recognition and respect. Addressing these issues requires more than token gestures or symbolic changes. It demands a fundamental reevaluation of the British Army's policies, practices, and cultural norms. There must be a concerted effort to dismantle the systemic barriers that perpetuate inequality. This involves implementing comprehensive anti racism and anti sexism training, ensuring that complaints of discrimination are addressed with genuine accountability, and fostering an inclusive environment where diversity is not merely tolerated but celebrated. The British Army must confront its legacy of discrimination 
and take decisive action to rectify past and present injustices. The goal should be to create a military institution where every individual, regardless of race or gender, has equal opportunities to serve, advance, and be respected. This is not just about rectifying historical wrongs. It is about ensuring that the principles of fairness and meritocracy are genuinely upheld in every facet of the British Army. For Black service members and women who have endured these challenges, their resilience and contributions are a testament to their strength and commitment. Their voices must be heard and their experiences acknowledged as integral to shaping a more just and equitable institution. The British Army has a critical responsibility to address these deep-seated issues and to build an organization that truly reflects the values of equality and respect it professes to uphold.